Does it worry you? A future where we have increasingly higher autonomy in our weapon systems, in our war. So you said building. What about uh, telling a set of fully autonomous drones to get rid of all the terrorists in the city? Mm -hmm. So you said multiple buildings, region, that kind of, so greater and greater um, autonomy. Mm -hmm. So that that's a fear, right? Um, you're viewing it from a, we can cover more perspective, which is um, fair and a lot of, we, I, I don't approach it from that topic, at least I don't think of it that way, at least morally. Um, I think that with the advancement of warfare, assuming we have a just and, and moral leadership, uh, if that's the case, then I am an advocate for increased autonomy and technology because I see it as an ability to be more precise. And if we trust the moral leadership of our government, then we would want to be as precise as possible in order to mitigate effects that we don't want. So I know that's not a satisfying answer and it leaves us well, maybe no, with I, bad feelings, but. No, because having experienced sort of um, directly seen what it looks like when deliberately or carelessly war leads to the death of a large number of civilians as it does in currently in Ukraine, the the value of precision uh, given ethical leadership becomes apparent. So there's something distinctly unethical about the, the murder of civilians in a time of war. Um, and I think technology helps lessen that. Of course, all death is, is terrible, but there's there's something about um, schools, hospitals being destroyed with everybody inside being killed. Um, yeah, it's particularly terrible. It is. And you know, you approached it from the angle of more autonomy enables a wider, you know, swath of destruction. And that's where we get back into, you know, who who's making the decisions based off of this. And you know, my hope again would be that we would have the leadership that would use these things when needed in the precise way as possible to minimize that. And I've seen that firsthand, you know, I've seen that in country. I've seen not not blue forces, but you know, I've seen truck bombs go off on school buses, you know, driving around Afghanistan uh, while escorting convoys. And, you know, it wasn't easy then, and I'm sure it's not any easier now, especially after what you've just seen.